middle of a four game series against the Yankees tonight. It's Logan Allen going against Jordan Montgomery. Um, I know you're excited because more and more fans get to come into the ballpark. You get to bring back some of the fan favorites. Tell me where we're at, what's going on um, over at Progressive Field, Bobby. Well, you said, yes, we're right in the midst of uh, a four game set with the New York Yankees. Then the Minnesota Twins come into town for three. Uh, we have uh, the ending of this 10-game uh, homestand. Well, nine games since we had a postponement um, will be next Wednesday with uh, an afternoon game. So people love those weekday day games. There's still ticket availability for the Minnesota Twins. But when the calendar turns to May, we're going to be able to increase from 30% capacity to 40%. That goes from a little over 11,000 to 14,000 for the month of May. And in the month of May, we're going to actually uh, begin the promo calendar, the things that our fans love coming to the ballpark and getting that added value with Sugardale Dollar Dogs and fireworks and the $2 beers and the pregame uh, parties out in center field. Uh, go to indians.com backslash tickets to check out the ticket availability for May, as well as the promo calendar that has been put in place for the month of May. The rain out against Chicago the other night is a traditional doubleheader on Memorial Day. So those of you who are wondering what to do on the holiday, well, you get two seven-inning ball games against the White Sox. So check that out on your schedule as well, indians.com backslash tickets is the place to go. We're talking to Bobby DiBiaseo, Senior Vice President of Public Affairs for the Cleveland Indians. Bobby, how excited are the players to have fans back in the stands? <laughs> Whenever you talked to them, you, you, know, you, you kind of got the feeling it just wasn't the same um, playing in that, that era of the pandemic a season ago. <laughs> Well, those cardboard cutouts, David, don't make a lot of noise. <laughs> I can tell you they don't make a lot of noise. Um, you know, not only the players, but our live entertainment crew that's headed up by uh, Kelly Dredge and, and Nick Gambone. And, you know, that group uh, just so excited that they're able to do their thing uh, to live people, to fans in the stands, to create an atmosphere and it certainly adds a bounce to the step to the players. Um, even though fans are scattered around the ballpark, they still make noise. Uh, they're still in atmosphere. And they just uh, are so appreciative that uh, they don't have to play in front of cardboard cutouts anymore and that our fans are allowed back in the ballpark. And as this moves further down the line, um, you know, a couple months ago, the governor indicated possibly 100% capacity by early July. Let's hope that stays true. We have a big 4th of July weekend homestand against the Houston Astros. It'd be awesome if we were able to welcome people back uh, in huge crowds at Progressive Field on the 4th of July weekend. So we'll keep an eye on that. But for the month of May, we're increased to 14,000 again indians.com backslash tickets to check out your ticket availability and the promo schedule. 